What is up, grinders and grain dads? You should got a black abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate you for it. Do me a favor. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So listen, the biggest heavyweight bout of the summer has been postponed. Yes, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Uh, reason being, Tyson Fury has tested positive for COVID-19. And his bout against Deontay Wilder will be rescheduled for later this year. Sources confirmed the ESPN says. Um, you know, the fight was originally scheduled for this month. I had everything set up. I had people coming over. Uh, I had it nice and ordered. It was ready to go. And now, nothing. You you completely ruined my July. Well, I had the Independence Day, which was cool. But I wanted to see some ass kicking. Uh, on either side, you know, uh, you know, I root for Wilder, but listen, I told you I'm a realist. I didn't think he had a chance in this fight, but uh, it seems to be some kind of finicky going on because all of a sudden, uh, Bob Aaron was saying that both fighters were uh, completely fully vaccinated, and now they're saying for some reason that Fury only got one of the shots, didn't get the second one. How they would know that, I have no idea because that information can't be released unless it's from the CDC or, uh, you know, the doctor administering the shot. So who, how, how they even got that information, I don't know. It seems like it's just some pullbacks. Uh, one side wanted either more time uh, or maybe it's just a fucking a big F you to Wilder uh, because you, you messed up his plans to fight Joshua. So it's a big F you. I'm going to postpone this. So, you know, a lot of people wanted to see Fury versus uh, Anthony Joshua. I honestly didn't want to see that because I thought, I think Fury, and I said this in my other video, uh, somebody said I was on crack for saying this, that Fury would demolish Joshua. And it has nothing to do with, uh, you know, him being, um, you know, not from the United States. I just don't think he's that talented of a fighter. I've seen heavyweights. I've been watching boxing since I was a child, and I know greatness. I know gifted. I know talented. Uh, while I do agree Joshua's talented, I don't think he's gifted. I don't think he's none out of the ordinary. Yeah, uh, he can't really take a punch. Um, and well, listen, this video ain't about him. But any, <laughs> I don't want to get into it because I already know that the Anthony Joshua standing fanboy is going to be in their feelings. So uh, it's say Fury and Wilder have met already twice, which we know. Uh, first bout was a draw. Second bout, Fury took it. Um, and, you know, the Gypsy King, uh, he left no doubt uh, in a rematch that he was the, the guy that was dominant in the fight. And um, it sucks, man. This sucks. We want to see this, man. We want to see this fight. Like, boxing, true boxing fans want to see this. You got a sport that's already dying. Uh, so we need big matches like this. Um, to, to keep the sport alive. So, I don't know, maybe Joshua and, and Wilder could fight enemy. I don't think that's possible, though. I think this just that's, that's not how it goes. But that would be dope if Joshua could move in where Fury is supposed to come in and fight Wilder uh, because that's the fight I really wanted to see, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll have to settle for uh, Manny Pacquiao and uh, Errol Spence on August 21st. Um, and Canelo Alvarez is scheduled to fight in the second or third week in September. So I guess we just going to have to hold that. We're going to have to do that to that, that hold us over because I guess Wilder and, and Fury won't be fighting until probably September. Uh, man, it sucks, man. This is this is trash. This is big trash. Um, I don't see how you don't constantly get people uh, COVID tested in your camp, You know, you, if, especially if you're dealing with a, a different variety of people. Uh, you know, it should be that core group in your training camp or whoever that you're coming and interacting with, uh, especially when you know you got a fight coming up. I don't know. That's just a little irresponsible on Fury's part, man. Um, unprofessional. This, I think it's just unprofessional. Uh, you know, imagine being able to make $50 million and all you had to do is not get COVID. I think I, I'm going to try my best not to get COVID. You know what I mean? Fifty million dollars, that's a lot of money. There's nothing to frown upon. Uh yeah, you gotta have a whole team vaccinated. I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. This sucks, man. I was really looking forward to this fight, man. Um but post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave all your theories. Uh Joshua fanboys, come on, talk your stuff. I know how you're coming. Uh and till next time. Peace.